all right get to the project and this to handle subcontractors uh, let's uh, create a new project and let's call this project a uh, big uh, uh, bridge Show me. big bridge let's copy over to the search key give it a um, search wrap and a price list and that's all you need at the project header level save it um, at the subcontractor uh, of course you can have many subcontractors let's say here's a construction company now each um, they would like to order from suppliers this is your suppliers but you need not uh, specify the supply here just make sure that every product that you call for come from the same supplier you have different suppliers then you create a new record okay and then you refresh you see the supply is there and um, make sure that uh, after this it comes from um, the same supplier so in this case um, I have only two products and um, now if you were to go back to the project lines you see that they are also being created next will be generate PO from project um, you will specify your big bridge and you see that the two lines are there you consider them to one document and um, you generate appeal and after this you can repeat um, more materials even the same supplier or different supplier this project order schema will manage it for you just checking taking some time So let's wait. I um, do not know why ordering some trees will take such a long time. So here it is. So you open up the project and um, just complete. And you see that they are automatically attached to your project. So project counting dimension will be fantastically or unified for you. And after you complete the purchase, um, when you're sending it, you put it up on the material receipt and um, so the contractor, you, you, you can check from where it's ordering from, it's a tree farm so when you say tree farm, you automatically allow you to select lines from that which is order this one select both of them and as you accept them uh, you can choose back order you see that the uh, project is also been uh, linked here automatically so if things been received um, it will automatically now serve a credit memo from this supplier which you have to pay but you will credit now memo back to the um, subcontractor so if you open the subcontractor now and you go to his mature line you see this has been made inactive because it has been processed and the shipment is associated with him and also the credit memo the zero amount because the credit memo is not being processed yet it's up to you now to process it is under this bridge project and this business partner your subcontractor has been served a credit memo so that's it um, when you do further you can notice that uh, I said the general project will manage that previous, you, you can really manage everything without really um, tearing your hair out. So that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day.